Congratulations, you've just purchased your first SVSI system. When your system arrives, let's just say you got an encoder and a decoder, they're going to come in these boxes. Inside the box, you'll notice a quick start guide for the device that you purchased. Open the box, start reading the quick start guide. Then let me show you just how easy it is to get a simple SVSI system up and running. All right, so you've got your units unboxed, and let's talk about a typical installation and what cables would be needed for that. I've got my decoder, my encoder, and my pre-configured Cisco PoE switch. I'm going to need a Cat5e or better network cable to connect my decoder and every device to the switch. So one for my decoder, one for my encoder, and then one for my laptop to connect to the switch or the network that our devices are being connected to. In addition, I have two video cables, DVI-D to HDMI to connect my computer to the encoder and then to connect my decoder to the display. So what I do is I take my CAT cable, plug it into the switch, and again, in this instance, I'm using PoE. So on the back of it, obviously, I'm going to use the PoE port since that's how I'm providing power to my devices. And they'll start their boot up process. And then finally my computer to the network switch. Again, our solution is not port specific, so you can plug into any port at any time. Okay, so that's the basics of hooking up the network connections to our devices. Allow me just a minute, what I'm going to do is mount this decoder behind the monitor so it's not seen. Okay, so I've got my decoder mounted behind the display, running through a little patch plate on the wall to get PoE to it. Now I'm going to take my DVI to HDMI adapter and connect this to my laptop to the encoder. Plug this into my laptop's output. Okay, so now all of my physical connections are done. Now what I need to do is download SVSI's NetLight software, which is available for free. So let's go on our web browser to svsiav.com. Then we're going to click on Support, Resources, and then Software. And under Software you'll see there's two versions of NetLight, one for PC and one for Mac. So I'm going to obviously download the PC version. It's a very small program, minimal intrusion, but what's very helpful is bundled with the actual uh, Conductor NetLight program is a tutorial on how to use NetLight. I highly recommend reading this as this will alleviate a lot of your questions right off the bat. Okay, so I've got NetLight downloaded. Now let's go ahead and open it up. So when I first open up NetLight, I have no devices. The first step is I need to discover all SVSI devices. To do that, I'm going to click on the Unit Management tab and then the Auto Discover button. What this does is it launches out some broadcast packets to look for our devices that are in our unique IP configuration. So now I've found my monitor and I've found my source. If I now click on the Video Matrix tab, I can assign our source to my monitor. So I line the two up, I click the dot, and then hit the Take button. Once I've done that, I've assigned my source to my display. And there's my monitor. So as you can see, it doesn't take but a few minutes to get a fully functional SVSI system up and running. If you have any additional questions or need more support, please feel free to call us at 256-461-7143. Thanks.